Hey guys, it's Chris. Dams are spectacular feats of engineering that many of us take for granted. They're there to control Mother Nature and change the course of rivers and store water to produce energy. From dams in Russia, China, the United States, and more, join me as I reveal 10 of the most powerful dams in the world. Number 10, Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is located on the border between Arizona and Nevada in the USA. The dam provides flood control and is a huge supplier of hydroelectric power. Despite criticism from skeptics, who thought the $49 million project would fail financially or that the dam simply couldn't be built, plans moved forward. By the way, in today's money, that would be $860 million. There were various perceived benefits to building the Hoover Dam. And fun fact, the Hoover Dam was almost called the Boulder Dam. And an anonymous citizen proposed the name Who Gives a Dam. You get it? It would protect cities and farms by taming the flood-prone Colorado River, generate cheap electricity, and provide thousands of desperately needed jobs during the Great Depression. First, diversion tunnels were built to redirect the flow of the river away from the construction site. Then, millions of tons of rocks were excavated. To protect themselves from falling rocks, workers dipped their hats in tar, effectively creating the first hard hats. The work was dangerous. 112 people died during the construction of the dam. Beginning in June 1933, concrete was poured in rectangular pieces, which were cooled with pipes filled with ice water. It took nearly two years to pour the 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete. Finally, in 1935, the dam was finished, and the largest reservoir in the U.S. Lake Mead was created. At its peak, the project employed over 5,000 people. So have you been to the Hoover Dam? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Number 9. Sayano Shushenskaya Dam The Sayano Shushenskaya Dam can be found in Russia. And this particular dam is the largest power plant in the entire country and is one of the most powerful dams in the world via its power generation. In terms of its dimensions, the Sayanoa Shushenskaya Dam measures nearly 800 feet tall, nearly 3,500 feet long, about 350 feet wide at the base, and the water it contains has a water pressure of 30 million tons. That's a lot of weight for one dam to contain. But because of how the dam was constructed, most of the weight is neutralized by the natural weight of the dam itself. The Sayano Shushenskaya Dam is also stated to withstand an earthquake of a magnitude of 8.2. In regard to the history of the Sayano Shushenskaya Dam, the project was put into motion all the way back in 1960. But the first turbine for the dam itself wasn't installed until 1978. By 1985, the plant itself had become fully operational. Despite the Sayano Shushenskaya Dam's impressive power production, much of which is diverted to smelters in Siberia, the dam and plant have had their fair share of incidents over the year. The dam and plant have had their fair share of incidents over the years, including a massive shutdown in 2009, when an incident occurred that caused a massive explosion and nearly collapsed the roof of the plant. But repairs were made, and by 2014, the plant was up again and at full. Number 8. Long Tan Dam The Long Tan Dam can be found in China and is known specifically as a roller compacted concrete gravity dam, which means that the dam was constructed using concrete and masonry in order to resist the natural pressures of the water they're containing via the weight of the building's materials. As for where in China it's specifically located, that would be the Hongshu River in the Guangxi Jiang Autonomous Region in China. This particular dam project had a very long history due to various delays along the way. The plan for it came in the 1950s, but construction on it didn't begin until 2001, and it wasn't until 2009 that operations fully began for it. The dimensions of the dam are 709 feet in height, 2,785 feet in length, and over 10 million cubic yards in regards to the volume of the dam. This project was so large that it took over $4.2 billion to make it in full. With all of its generators running at full power, the average output for the Long Tan Dam is about 18.7 TWH. Number 7. Ziyang Dam 
Another dam that is located in China is the Ziyangjiaba Dam, which is operated by China Yangtze Power Company, or CYPC, and it itself is owned by China Three Gorges. The dam itself is located on the Jinsha River, a tributary of the Yangtze River in southwest China. Powering the dam is eight Francis turbines, which each have a capacity of 812 megawatts. So combined, the dam is able to do about 6,448 megawatts. This makes it the third biggest hydroelectric station in all of China. The project's construction began in November of 2006, with the first turbine of the plant getting started in 2012. It wasn't until 2014 that all the turbines were fully operational and fully functional. Another reason for the dam being on the Jinsha River is that it offers a lot of options for those who use the river, because it's not just a dam. It's also a shipping route, sediment retention, and flood control center. Xiaoyang Jiaba Dam reaches 528 feet in height and nearly 3,000 feet in length, and most of the power it generates is sent straight to the city of Shanghai. Number 6. Grand Coulee Dam Found in the state of Washington within the United States and alongside the Columbia River, the Grand Coulee Dam was one that was made not only to produce power for the region, but to help with irrigation for local farming areas. But that was not the original intention when the plan for the dam came forth in the 1920s. There was a great debate in the area over what to do with the land that would eventually have the dam on it. One side wanted a dam, but another side wanted it to be a gravity canal to help with irrigation. After a while, the people wanting the dam won, but then a financial issue hit and they were only able to make a low dam. But then, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt intervened, and the high dam construction model was approved. And it would allow for both the power aspect and the irrigation aspect to be done. The people were so honored by his help that eventually the reservoir lake was named after the president. Upon final construction and some upgrades along the way, the plant measured in at 550 feet in height, 5,223 feet long, and 500 feet wide at the base. The plant has been upgraded many times over the years since its construction, including adding more turbines to help with power production, which goes to states such as Washington, Idaho, Oregon, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Wyoming, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah. Number 5. Tikuri Dam The Tikuri Dam has a rather unique moniker attached to it, mainly in that it's the largest dam to ever have been built in a rainforest, which really is unique because you don't think of dams being built in forest areas for various reasons, not the least of which is construction logistics. And yet the Tikuri Dam was not only built in a rainforest, it was built in Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. Specifically though, it's on the Tocantins River, located in the Tikuri County in the state of Para, Brazil. Like many dams, this one was constructed to help with power in the region, but also to help with navigation on the river. What's more, the construction of the Tiku Re Dam took place over the course of two phases that lasted a total of 30 years, which is why the Tiku Re Dam finished construction in 2010, despite being started in 1980. In height, the Tiku Re Dam is 256 feet tall, which is not that impressive compared to other dams, especially ones on this list, but it is 7.8 miles in length. In fact, just the main dam is four miles in length, which is much larger than most dams ever go. Number four, Guri Dam. Within Venezuela is the Guri Dam, also known as the Simón Bolivar Hydroelectric Plant. It's a dual type of dam, as it's a concrete gravity and embarkment dam, which means that its construction uses a variety of materials to help fulfill the function of the place. It was built between 1963 and 1969, and is located in Boulevard. The construction of the Guri Dam created a reservoir, which is the largest freshwater body of water in Venezuela, and one of the largest man-made blackwater lakes ever created. By the time 1978 came around, the plant was upgraded to 10 turbines, which allowed it to generate 2,065 MW of power. Part of that upgrade was because there was a great need for power, and the Guri Dam was the best way to facilitate that need. However, that also caused a problem over time, because water is needed to help make the dam generate power. 
And when the government decided to rely more and more on the Guri Dam for power, it coincided with massive droughts in the area, which meant that there were cascading failures at the plant, and thus the power distribution. The latest of these happened in March of 2009, which left 32 million people in the dark. The dimensions of the Guri Dam measure in at 531 feet tall, and it's over 7.4 miles in length. Number 3. Silodo Dam Found on the Jensha River in Yonan Province, the Silodo Dam is the second largest hydroelectric dam, in regards to capacity at least, in all of China. Which is good, because the Silodo Dam is multi-purpose in its construction. Given the size of the dam, it naturally exudes a lot of power, over 13,000 MW at max capacity. But it also serves as a means of flood control, silt control, and it can even use its waters to help guide ships down the river. The construction of the Silodo Dam began in 2005, and its first generator was started up in 2013 with the last one starting up in 2014, with the whole plant being run by China Yangji Power. In total, there are 18 different generators in the plant, thus allowing for a lot of power to be made. Given the size of China as a whole, that was likely the intention. The height of the dam is 937 feet, while the length of it is 2,300 feet. Number 2. Itaipu Dam the construction of Itipu Dam was one that took a lot of people by surprise, because it was one of the very few dams in the whole world that actually lies on the border between two countries. In this case, that would be Brazil and Paraguay. This matter was first brought up in the 1960s, where intense negotiations were done to try to make sure that both sides prospered from the dam that was to be made. Yet it was clear that both sides wanted this to work because they had the perfect river to put the dam on in regard to the Alto Parana River. After negotiations were settled, construction began, and it eventually would finish in 1984. Of the 20 generator units currently installed, 10 generated 50 Hz for Paraguay and 10 generated 60 Hz for Brazil. There's a lot of power going on in the Itapu Dam, so much so that it's been ranked at times as the most powerful dam in the world given how much it generates. The dam is over 643 feet tall and nearly 26,000 feet long. Number 1. Three Gorges Dam as documented by the USGS, the Three Gorges Dam that is located in China is the most powerful dam in the world. This was determined back in 2012, when the dam's incredible 32 generators were all turned on at the same time and were able to produce 22,500 megawatts of power. The full construction of the dam took over $31 billion to complete. You can find the dam at the Yangtze River by the town of Sanduping in China. And aside from generating lots of power, of which it even set a world record once, the Three Gorges Dam is also one that helps the shipping capacity of the Yangtze River, including having a ship lift. Furthermore, it can help with flooding by actually taking in the excess water of the area. In terms of dimensions, the Three Gorges Dam is nearly 600 feet in height, over 7.6 miles in length, and 377 feet wide at the base of it. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these dams? Can you believe how much power they wield and the energy they provide people? Did you maybe learn about some dams that you didn't know even existed before? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List and I'll see you next time.